Hey guys, it's D Money Baller. Those of you that watch my videos frequently may remember that I just set up a NAS a few weeks ago with an Intel i5-8400 CPU powering the whole thing. Now, I thought that maybe that may be a little bit overkill, so I decided to put in an Intel Celeron 847 processor. Now this thing is real slow. Let me tell you how slow it is. It's a dual core processor that can turbo up to 1.1 gigahertz. Now to put that into perspective, the i5 I had in there before was a six core processor. So it's already three times as fast with the cores and it can turbo up to 3.8 gigahertz. That's much faster than the Celeron's two cores that go up to 1.1 gigahertz. But the Celeron motherboard does have an ethernet port that can go up to a gigabit per second. So it would be about the exact same as what I was doing with the i5. So I did some tests and it does transfer at the exact same speed. However, the CPU usage is drastically different between the two. The i5 has around 7% CPU usage when I was transferring over files, whereas the Celeron has around 60% CPU usage. So what I did is I freed up that i5 so I can do many more projects with it. But many of you may be asking, is an i5 ever okay to use in a NAS? And I would say, yes. If you're going to use services such as Docker or Plex, anything that's gonna use some heavy lifting from that CPU, you're gonna need something more powerful than just an old dual core Celeron processor to do that kind of things. However, I'm just using it as a file server. So I'm just, taking stuff from one computer, putting it to there, taking it down on another computer. So it's not really anything that I'm going to use too much CPU on. And so I thought I'd just update you guys. If you've liked this video, hit that subscribe button and like it. Thank you for watching.